Hello guys, welcome back to YouTube channel PD Bros. This is me Debra on the topic factor regulating erythropoiesis. So the first factor is BPA. So the BPA is the hemopoietic growth factor like burst promoting activity. So it is a substance produced by the lymphocyte and macrophage which is necessary for the proliferation and growth of B of UE. Example interleukin. So the interleukin 3, 6, 11 are the examples. So next it is the erythropoietin or EPO. It is secreted in response to hypoxia mainly by the kidney. It is stimulate the formation and the release of RBC into circulation. Now the next one is the hormone affecting erythropoiesis. The first one it is the androgen. It increases the EPO secretion. This is the reason for the increased RBC count in adult male when compared to female. Now for the next, it is the estrogen. The estrogen decreases the sensitivity of the progenitor cell to EPO and decreases the RBC count. Estrogen also inhibits the synthesis of globin in the liver. And now for the next hormone that is the thyroxin. The thyroxine increases the tissue metabolism leading to decreased oxygen tension leading to increased EPO secretion. Anemia is a feature of hypothyroidism and polycythemia is a feature of hyperthyroidism. ACTH and adrenocortical steroid increases the EPO secretion leading to increased RBC count. Polycythemia is a prominent feature of the Cushing syndrome. Growth hormone and prolactin increases the EPO secretion. Vasopressin, serotonin, norepinephrine causes the renal artery constriction leading to raw occult tissue, hypoxia in kidney that stimulate EPO secretion. Metal include iron, copper and cobalt. Copper is necessary for the absorption and utilization of the iron. Copper is necessary for the incorporation of iron into protoporphyrin during final stage of the edit synthesis of the heme. Cobalt is the ingredient of the vitamin B12. The lipid and protein amino acid are necessary for the synthesis of the globin part of the hemoglobin. Lipid and protein are necessary for the normal integrity of the cell membrane and stroma of the erythrocyte. Vitamins include vitamin B, C, D and E necessary for the normal erythropoiesis. Vitamin C helps to conversion of the ferric to ferrous ion. It is necessary for the facilitation of the ion turnover in the body. In scurvy, the anemia is a feature. Now for the maturation factor which include vitamin B12 and folic acid. And I will discuss both the factors in a detailed section in the coming videos. So in vitamin B12, it increases the DNA synthesis and decreases the maturation time of the RBC. Now for the next, it is the folic acid. It is essential for the DNA synthesis and RBC maturation. And that's for the factors regulating erythropoiesis. Now for the mnemonic. All of you got a account in Facebook. So the mnemonic is basically Facebook help very much. So the B stands for the BPA that is burst promoting activity. F for the folic acid, B for the vitamin B12, H for the hormone, E for the EPO, L for the lipid, P for the protein, V for the vitamin, M for the metals. That for the mnemonic. And that's all for the topic factor regulating the erythropoiesis.